What's going on everybody? So we are outside, comically speaking, and I am so excited because we're gonna go inside. They have a ton of pops and sodas, and we're gonna be picking up some things, as you guys know, to give away this Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on our live stream. We're gonna be celebrating 14K, 15K, 16K, and 17K. What a mouthful, but we're gonna go have some fun on this Funko Pop hunt. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, and uh, let's see what they have here at Comically Speaking. All right, so here is the front door. We're gonna go inside here. Now, we've actually been here before, of course, and um, they do have a split level in here is where they keep all of their comics. So if you're a big comic book collector, then you definitely need to come check out the top floor of Comically Speaking. They have some great statues and action figures right here. Love this Darth Maul, how awesome is that? But now we are going to go downstairs and this is where they have all of their Funko items. So I'm really excited. We've been meaning to come here for quite some time. And look at that. Joanna's already got a head start. So look at all of the Funko items. So first things first, I wanna show off, they actually have some sodas right here. And we did a little pre-scouting and the majority of these, these sodas are actually chases. So we've actually never seen this many chases in one store before. And uh, I wanna show some of these off. Like check this out, they have a Rocksteady chase. Here, you wanna crack that, help me out. And it is in fact the Blacklight version. Only 1,600 pieces. How awesome is that? You very rarely see a chase in a store, let alone a great one like that. So Joanna and I were thinking that we're actually gonna pick out a chase to give away because we know there are a lot of soda collectors who follow the channel. I mean, come on, they even have a Chester Cheetah chase. I mean, this is insane. We spoke to the owner and he said that they actually got somebody who came in pretty recently and sold them their entire chase collection. I mean, they even have a Ghostbusters Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man chase. I mean, this common soda is pretty difficult to find, let alone the chase. Most of you guys probably started collecting after this chase even came out. So this is the burnt red Stay Puffed chase, one out of 2,500 pieces, which is once again, pretty awesome very difficult to find from the Ghostbusters line. So we're definitely gonna get at least one chase to add to our giveaway. A majority of you guys voted in our last video, which we really appreciate. And we're gonna be getting multiple items to give away. So right off the bat, you guys can see they have pops on the tops of the aisles here. And I mean, it goes, it goes on and on. And uh, I'm actually, not even sure where we're gonna start. Uh, there's a lot of different Funko items that we wanna highlight. Um, throughout the store, they even have some OG Funko items like this one right here, this 500 piece Game of Thrones Hikari. I mean, Hikaris are really OG. Some of you guys might not even know what a Hikari figure is. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, I guess we'll just go aisle by aisle and I'll try to give you guys a little overview of some of the pops they have. Right here we have Left Eye. She's turned around, she's in timeout right now. We have Salt. Let's see, Notorious B.I.G. And as we're going through, hopefully you guys see a couple figures that you would hope to win from our live stream on Friday night. Here is a Con Sticker Fireman Pez Boy. This one's super cute because he's actually holding the tiny Pez version of himself. We have a couple more from the Otter Pops line. Here are some sports pops. We have Ezekiel Elliott from the Cowboys. Oh, look at this. They have one of the military pops. This is the sailor, the Navy sailor, and this is the female. Very nice. Still no Coast Guard pop. Uh, we have John Carlson from the Washington Capitals, Nathan McKinnon from the Colorado Avalanche. And as you guys will see, as we're moving here, they have tons of other different types 
of toys, which is pretty cool. Coming over here, we have Bisky from Hunter Hunter, as well as this super OG Chucky from the Rugrats line coming in from 2017. How cute is that? Little OG Chucky. That might be a contender for us to grab for today. We also have Hoppy the Hopperoo from the Flintstones, Sneasley. Coming over here, we have Junji Edu. Uh, we also have Beef Squatch from Bob's Burgers. That looks like another old one from 2016. A lot of older pops in this store, which is you know, pretty awesome. These secondhand stores, this is where you're going to find the older stuff. Obviously, your Walmarts, your Targets, um, your GameStops, that's where you're going to find all of the newer items. But we like hunting the older stuff. Right here, we have Fruity Land Beth from Rick and Morty from 2018. There's also Aqua here from Kingdom Hearts, another older one, a little bit older, not too, too bad from 2019. Coming over here on the other side of the aisle, we have a bunch of Disney pops. Here is Captain Hook from the Villains line. We also have a bunch of Tailspin pops. This one's super cute, the Flocked Blue Target exclusive. Here is some ones from the new Lightyear movie with Lightyear with socks. That one's super cute. We have, look at this one. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Elias from the Ancient Magnus Bride from 2018. Very interesting. Check this one out. We have Disgust from Disney's Inside Out. This is definitely a little bit of an older one here. Coming in from, it looks like 2016, they have I want to say. Those. They have Disgust. They have Sadness. Yeah, we're going to have to see if we can track down more of that set. Right here, we have Tara from Teen Titans Go. Look at that OG Toys R Us sticker from 2017 as I make a mess here and ruin the display. Uh, let me see. What else do they have? I thought I saw, yeah, down here, they have Alice. This one's a, another older one from 2015. And then here is a super cute little Raven Dorbs. Some of you guys might know what Dorbs are. Over here, we have Daryl Philbin from The Office. Oh, which one did you find? Oh, Skeeter from 2018, San Diego Comic-Con. Did you need that one? I did. Oh, okay. Let's grab it. And I forgot to point out, we have Anger no, from 2015. No, we're here for the viewers. Okay. And then this one, I can't believe how inexpensive this one is. Look at this OG looking Eve from Wally. -E. Another great one. All right, we're going to continue on here. See what else we can find. Here we have some very interesting, the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Look at this one. Look at that little creepy critter in there. Glows in the dark. I bet you it has a pretty good glow. This Mr. Rogers, I absolutely love him. I have him in my collection. He is the best. The Barnes & Noble exclusive. That one's great. And then there is another great one from Inside Out. Right here we have some Game of Thrones, Brian Star or Bran Stark, Tyrion Lannister. We have King Bran the Broken. Very nice. Moving over here, we have some Seinfeld pops as well as some ones from The Office. Jim Halpert, Dwight Schrute, Oscar Martinez. We also have Angela Martin. This one's awesome. The superhero Kevin Malone. Oh, look, Chandler Bing from Friends. That's a good one. Is that the? Is that one of the original ones or is this one of the newer? This newer. This is one of the newer ones. Still from 2018 though. I'm gonna leave that there and let my assistant fix it as I continue throughout the store here. I'm just kidding. I love you. All right, moving over here, we have some G.I. Joe Pops. Up here, we have Gellert Grindelwald from Fantastic Beasts. That's a New York Comic Con exclusive. Right here, we have The Atom. Oh, check this one out. Killer Frost. That's pretty cool. From New York Comic Con. The con exclusive Killer Frost. Very nice. This one's also pretty, pretty rad as well. Baxter Stockman. From 2017, San Diego Comic Con. Over here, we have some Letter Kenny, some Squid Games. Oh, look, Joanna found some Powerpuff Girls, Blossom, and Bubbles. Look at these. Super cute from 2017. We might have to grab one of those to give away. That's pretty awesome. All right, we have some Big Bang Theory with Leonard Hofstadter in his robe. 
What else? Josie McCoy from San Diego Comic-Con. White Rose from Mr. Robot. Some American Gods Pops. Let's see. Oh, this one's pretty cool. This Upside Down 11 and Barb 2-pack from Emerald City Comic Con 2017. Only $40? Wow. I know a lot of the Stranger Things pops have obviously gone up in value and gained a lot of popularity, of course. And speaking of Stranger Things, we have the Snowball Dance Dustin from San Diego Comic Con. There's Hopper, Nancy, Kelly. There's Barb in 8-bit. Another 8-bit Dustin. Oh, oh, that's one of your favorites. Dustin and Dart. Hot Topic exclusive. Oh, look, we even have a Chase. A Demogorgon Chase right there. Not bad. We also noticed the store just got in, or at least since we've been here, they have some Handmade by Robots figures, which is pretty oh, cool. Oh, did you see these Handmade by Robots figures? Which ones? Probably not. Oh, look at the little Adams Family. The minis. The four-pack minis. Those are cute. That's awesome. I didn't realize they made those. Uh, we do have an out-of-box 8-bit pop right here. Here is Mr. Clark from San Diego Comic-Con. And then coming over here, we have some characters from Preacher, including this bloody Hot Topic, Cassidy, from 2016. Another pretty old one. All right, so we're going to go over to the next row here. And if you're a Star Wars fan, I mean, you definitely got to come down here. Look at all the Star Wars figures. We have the giant Han as Stormtrooper, which is great. So I'll start off with this section right here. We have some Overwatch pops. There's Tracer and May. So I really like how they have all of their pops sorted by theme. There's Toughness from Fallout. A Gamerverse Hulk snuck in there. There's another one from Evolve. This is Val. 2015. You guys see I'm pulling out a lot of older pops. This one's pretty cool. Markov. And you guys will notice too, a lot of the prices are very reasonable. We have Gwenpool here from 2017. It's a cool variant right there. Over here, we have a two-pack of Hot Ryu and Violent Ken. We have Captain Marvel versus Chun Li. This is one of the Marvel Gamerverse pops. We have a couple oversized here with Orisa as well as the Archon from Mass Effect. Down here, we have the Clear Master Chief, or the Active Camo Master Chief, the Target exclusive. I'm going to put him right there next to R2 D2. Oh, look at this. We have a Justice League Batmobile. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Here's a Star Wars box. Here's the Lola droid from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. How come we haven't got a pop of that yet? I feel like we're we're definitely due for a little a baby Leia pop. Here is a Princess Leia wacky wobbler. Let's see. Bunch of great Star Wars stuff. Look at the TIE Fighter. That's awesome. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Bo-Katan's helmet. And then, yes... Now moving into some Star Wars pops. We have Moff Gideon, the Dark Trooper, the only Omega that they've made so far, Fennec Shan, the Mithril. Down here we have a Knight of Ren, Poe Dameron. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Look at this. The Chase Luke Skywalker on the speeder bike. Not bad. And what is this? This is a, a plushy Han Solo. It caught my eye because it has that 2018 San Diego Comic-Con sticker on there. Stickers? I, yeah, well, stickers. It's part of collecting. It's not what collecting is all about, but it's part of collecting. Look at this little Bizarro do Dorbs from uh, Toys R Us. Right here we have Batwoman, the PX Previews exclusive, a bunch of great ones here from the Suicide Squad, as well as one of my personal favorites. Look at this. The Blackest Night Superman with that OG GameStop sticker on there. Look at that. 2015. You do love that one. I do like the Black Suit uh, Superman. Black Suit Superman and Black Suit Spider-Man are two of my weaknesses. Look at this beautiful pop. Should we review the syrup? Oh, <laughs> he found some cereal. Nice. 
<laughs> I might have to get that. Look at this beauty from 2017. Classic Batgirl from the Batman 1966 TV series. Now we are moving into some DC pops. We have Black Lightning, Steppenwolf, Aquaman from the Justice League movie. Look at Robin right here. Oh, man. Can we pick this one up to give away? I love this Robin from 2016. Super OG right here. We have, let's see, what else do we have? White Lantern, Sinestro, Shazam, Fish Mooney from the Gotham line. That's a great line. Batwoman and Hawkgirl from the DC Bombshells line. Oh, this one's a great one. I love this one. Bruce Wayne from 2017 San Diego Comic-Con. Another one of my favorite DC pops. We also have the Carrie Kelly Robin, DC Legion of Collectors Hawkgirl, as well as the DC Legion of Collectors Catwoman. This is Martian Manhunter from the Imperial Palace line. Actually, I can't believe this one's only $15. The Interplanetary Batman from 2017 San Diego Comic-Con. I just love the mold on this. It's a great Batman variant. I, I really like that one. All right. I missed a few things. Oh, look how cute this is. I didn't realize they made a Snap Dorbs from the Rice Krispies trio. And then we also have a Dorbs trio from Batman Returns. Look at that. Batman, the Penguin, and Catwoman. Very nice. Is this Funko right here? This uh, Vaulted Vixens Vinyl Sugar. This looks like Funko right here. I feel like this is a Funko figure. Vinyl Sugar? Maybe? I don't know. It has a Funko style box right there. We'll have to look it up. Here we have the uh, Black Adam comic book cover. That is super cool. If you're a Black Adam fan, you definitely have to check that out. These are pretty cool too. Started looking at these. The Minico figures. That's the Joker. Oh, look. They have the Handmade by Robots Flash. Look at that. Look how cute that is. That's super awesome. It's There's Funko. the uh, the Flash cereal. It is Funko, right? Mm -hmm. it, yeah. I scanned it into Hobby DB because Hobby DB has everything. They do Lego. They do yeah. everything. But then it says brand Funko. Funko. Wow. I've never seen one of those. So that's pretty awesome. 2015. 2015. Nice. So moving over to the next section here, we have Hawkman in his cruiser from the Black Adam movie. Black Adam on Throne. They made a lot of Black Adam stuff. That's pretty cool. Here's a lot of figures. Oh, and this is what I wanted to show off. They have some really cool Hikaris once again. This is the Harley Quinn 500 pieces. Only 500 pieces. And it's sitting right here on the shelf from 20, I want to say, what is that? 2016? Crazy. Down here, they have a another rock candy. Here is a sealed t-shirt bundle. They have a bunch more dorbs. Here's the orange Batman as well as Robin. Those are always cute. We actually have a bunch of dorbs in our collection. And then check these out. We have a pair, not just one, but two of these purple metallic Jokers. 500 piece limited edition Hikaris. Freaking insane. All right, moving over here, we have some more comic book covers with Batman as well as another Black Adam. And then over here on the end cap, we have some great pops like this 10,000 piece Jungle Batman that dropped on the Funko Shop back in the day. We have the child with the egg canister, Mary Jane, which is super cute because she's actually holding the tiny little Spider-Man doll. We have the blue Venom. I love this one. The Gamerverse Spider-Man where he's holding his mask. Here is Nova, which is a good one to pick up. That's a good giveaway. Right? I was thinking of that one. Yeah. I like this one too, the Octo Spidey. Oh, and everybody's everybody wants Venomized. That's true. Venomized. Everybody's been asking us for Venomized, so maybe we'll pick up a, a Venomized pop. But here, let me show off this end cap right here. We have the Artist Series Batman sealed in the stack. We also have the Black Chrome Batman, Winston from New Girl from 2018, a little bit of an older one. A There's chase. also a Chase, Sam as Leprechaun from Luck. Not familiar with that. Look at this sticker. Limited Blacklight Chase of Atrigan the Demons. Interesting. Very cool. Before we go down the next aisle, 
want to show off the stuff that's over here. So they do have some cool pops in their display case. This used to be where a lot of their grails used to be, but they actually just had a huge 50% off sale pretty recently. So some people came in and uh, took some big pieces home. But we also spotted this guy, GameStop exclusive Supersonic. I know how many Sonic fans are out there, so we're thinking this is a perfect one for Friday night. They also have Sadness. Sadness is super cute. Look at that. From 2015, Sadness. They also have this really cool Megazord from 2017, San Diego, San Diego Comic Con. Down here, they have this super cute Dorbs ride of Aladdin with Abu. So awesome. And then it just gets even cooler they have two hikari figures i don't want to they're kind of wedged in there unfortunately but look at this green 300 piece huckleberry hound just chilling underneath this blue 300 piece huckleberry hound like how crazy is that we also have horton the six inch one that's actually very difficult to find in good condition over here we have doug with puppies Davros over here we have Dumbo with Timothy this is a very interesting size box it's like not quite a deluxe but it's on the stand did you see this it's on the stand yeah. super cute um, up here we do have some 10 inch pops we have Beastman Mickey Mouse Sorcerer Mickey Zombie Wolverine as well as Rick with Portal Gun up here we have a very OG ride with Knight Rider how cool is that? Uh, we also have a bunch of the Hall of Armor Iron Man pops. And then over here, looking at their case, they do have a couple Freddy's hiding. And most of you guys know how big I am when it comes to uh, Freddy Funko. We have the Chase Hopper, 3,000 piece Freddy as Wolfman. That's a good one. We also have the Judo Freddy, also 3,000 pieces. There's a Chase Demogorgon. There's also him back there. Another Freddy. This is Freddy as Teen Wolf. And then Jonathan. There's also a Cabbage Man and the cart in there, as well as Wedge and Tilly's with the Snow Speeder. And then I think I saw, yeah, up there, there's actually a really cool Poison Ivy bombshell. And that one actually is autographed. An autographed Poison Ivy bombshell figure. It's pretty cool. So I wanted to show that off really quick. So we have two more aisles that we are going to check out. And then Joanna and I are going to be making some purchases to give back to you guys for all the support. So we have a Chase Yes right here. There's Dexter from Cartoon Network. We are currently in the movies section of Pops. And as we're going through, you guys will have to drop it down in the comments section below, which pop or maybe several pops that caught your eye are your favorite from Comically Speaking. We have another Chase Dogen from Valerian. We also have a couple Power Ranger 2-packs here with Rita Repulsa and Zordon. Toys R Us exclusives, which is pretty cool. Some E.T. pops. Oh, did I say it wrong? It's okay. <laughs> I apologize if I mispronounce any names. We have another chase. Oh, a bunch of chases. Just hanging out. We have some pops from Smallfoot. Billy Madison. Phil Connors with Puxatani Phil. Super cute from Groundhog Day. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a little groundhog in there. Oh my God, I mean... Some 007 pops. Oh, these are what I wanted to show off really quick. All right, so we have... This three-pack of the Creators, New York Comic Con exclusive. And then, I know not everybody is into the older Funko stuff, but I love finding Wacky Wobblers in the wild. This is from 2011. It's only $10. We have Hal Jordan as well as Sinestro. I just think both of those are super cool. We got a couple more cereal boxes with The Flash. This is pretty awesome. You have uh, Aqualad, Robin, and Kid Flash. That would be a great three-pack if they decided to make pops like that. Coming over here, we're now moving into, I feel like, a lot of people's favorite genre to collect, the Marvel pops. So we have a six-inch Endgame Hulk, 
the Absolute Carnage, a couple ones from the Avengers Assemble line with Cap and Thor. This is my personal favorite pop from the What If line. This is Captain Carter on the Hydra Stomper, Amazon exclusive. This is a great variant right here. I feel like not many people know about this one. Walgreens exclusive six arm Spider Man from 2018. This is fantastic. We also have the first Miles Morales pop right here. I think this one's going to skyrocket in value when the um, new Into the Spider-Verse movie comes out, Across the Spider-Verse. Down here, we have some Marvel zombie pops. People are always asking us about zombie pops. Uh, we have the Hank Pym on mass pop from Ant-Man and the Wasp. The Walgreens exclusive Miss Marvel, Black Panther. Silk is another one that I feel like is going to go up in value. There's Captain Carter, Ego from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Red Guardian. Up here we have some more great Spider-Man variants with the Kane Parker Scarlet Spider. Both of these are Walgreens exclusives. This is Spider-Man in the big time suit. That one's super cool as well. And then over here we have some great ones from Wakanda Forever. My personal favorite being the Iron Heart Mark 1. Down here we have Sam Wilson Captain America. Here is Sue Storm's Invisible Girl, as well as Black Panther. There's a Venomized Rocket. Captain America from Infinity War. Another cap, that one glows in the dark. It came with a t-shirt bundle. There's Dark Phoenix. Right here we have the Glitter She-Hulk. Some great ones from In the Multiverse of Madness. Down here, we have some from the 80 Years line, like Black Widow and Beast. There's the Scream symbiote. And then check this out, Iron Spider. That is one of my all-time favorites from 2015. Just hanging out on the shelf, looking for a new home. It's a little beat up, unfortunately. I wish it was in better condition, but it's just how it goes sometimes. So that's pretty much it for all of the pops. I mean, a really great selection here at Comically Speaking. So if you guys are ever in the area, you definitely have to come check them out. We are, of course, in Reading, Massachusetts. Last thing we're going to show off, they do have a 1,500-piece Groot Hikari. That one's also pretty cool. So we are going to grab some stuff, and uh, we'll see you guys back in the studio in just a sec. All right, guys, so we are back here in the studio, and I'm going to show off all the stuff that we picked up. Now, keep in mind... We are giving away every item that I'm about to show you. So I'm pretty excited for Friday night and I'm really excited for the future of our channel. So if you guys enjoy Funko collecting and this type of content, now is a perfect time to subscribe. So believe it or not guys, we went we went pretty pretty heavy on today's haul. Um, you guys requested a lot of giveaways. Well, we are going to be giving away nine different items. So the first pop that we are going to be giving away, couldn't pass this one up. This is super cool. This is Chucky from the Rugrats. And this is the OG one from 2017. You can check out the OG wave right there on the back with Tommy and the Reptar. So... Really si a quick side note, we did try to get um, a different pop or different item from every different category um, that we could see. So that pretty much covers, you know, our animation. Next up, we did grab an anime pop, and this is from Demon Slayer, and this is Tanjiro. So we thought this would be a good grab for the anime collectors, in case somebody doesn't have this one. I know it's not like a super rare one or anything, but we still, you know, nonetheless, we know Demon Slayer is very popular. Next up, from the DC realm, we got a really cool one. One of my personal favorites, like I mentioned while filming, this is the 1966 Batman TV series, Batgirl. And I particularly love this one because this is the exact costume that Joanna actually wore for Halloween when I was Nightwing. So, beautiful pop right here. Absolutely love this one. So that covers our DC fans. Now to the flip side of the house. We're going to go over to Marvel, and I I was like, we have to get a Spider-Man pop. Check this out. We have the Gamerverse Spider-Man in my favorite Spider-Man suit that Peter Parker has ever worn, and he's actually holding his mask, which I think is awesome. So really cool one here for the Marvel collectors. Next up, had to get some Disney. We know there's a lot of Disney people out there, and we have the Blacklight Zero they had some cool blacklight pops tucked away 
on a low shelf, so we grabbed Zero. We thought it was a, a great pick. Up next, from the Star Wars universe, we have a super cool one. This is one that I have in my personal collection, and this is the original Blue Box TIE Fighter. And this is coming in from 2015, so pretty reasonably priced. Uh, there's a couple different stickers on here. We will take all the stickers off, of course, and they will all be shipped out to all the giveaway winners in Protector. So rest assured, you guys are going to be getting some great pops, and they will be well protected. We got two pops left, and then we also have a Soda Chase. The next pop we have here from the television line, of course, Joanna loves Stranger Things, and uh, obviously everybody's excited for the last and final upcoming season. And this is Eleven with Electrodes, and this was actually a New York Comic Con exclusive from 2017. The final pop here, this is the heavy hitter. This is definitely more towards grail spectrum. Not quite anymore. It used to be a big grail, um, but it has since come down in value, which is a shame, but nonetheless, we could not walk by it and not take it home. We have the GameStop Super Sonic. How beautiful is this pop? My guess is that it went down a little bit when the, um, the Glow in the Dark Super Sonic came out for uh, San Diego Comic-Con last year, but nonetheless, this is a super cool one to have. Great one if you are a Sonic fan, and it's up there. It sells still for about $90 to $100, so very cool pop. So, these are the eight pops that we are going to be giving away. Eight, eight different pops. I don't know if they'll all, they won't all pick up, but here is the top four. And then here is the bottom four. So all eight of these pops will be given away Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on the channel. You guys got to be here. It's going to be an amazing live stream. But we are not done yet. Sodas are huge. We love collecting Funko sodas. And we could not leave out our Funko soda collectors. And we happened to see all those chases at the store, which was crazy. You very rarely see any chases, let alone that many chases. I was about to shake it up out of habit. I don't need to shake it up. So guys, check it out. We have the OG Chester Cheetah Chase Glow in the Dark, one out of 2,000 pieces, and he's also holding the little Cheetos bag. So fantastic. Ad Icons Soda. This is actually my favorite Ad Icon, right up there with Big Boy and uh, all the other... OG characters that Funko made so this is a really tough one to find the common is incredibly tough let alone the chase um, I know the chase was going for about a hundred bucks at one point I'm not sure what it's going for now but nonetheless I think we got all our bases covered so make sure you guys are there make sure you guys are subscribed thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed today's video smash that like button and as always don't stop shooting until you score